people. Welcome to Scott's Kitchen. So, what I'm making right now is uh, everybody's favorite peppermint chocolate chip milkshake. Did I say, did I say chocolate chip? Chocolate chip. So, uh, what we need for this, of course, chocolate chips, peppermint extract. Write this down. You're going to want this recipe. Okay. Of course, ice cream. Plain vanilla ice cream. This is slow churned, half the fat. So, you know, wife wanted it. So, anyways, um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, oh, this one is pretty interesting. Almond milk, vanilla preferably, that flavor. So, then the other thing. Candy canes. All right. So this is what we're gonna do. I'll probably edit some of this stuff, but uh, so we're gonna take roughly four cups of vanilla ice cream, and I say roughly, I mean very roughly. I like to do a little bit more because our cups are a little bit bigger, like the cups that we drink them out of. So and get your finger down in there. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice and germy. So. Uh, our cups that we drink them out of are a little bit bigger, so I like to add a little bit more. And because we made these the other night, for two of us, we used more than half of half of a gallon, and it was not enough. And our cups really aren't that big, but you know, it just wasn't enough, so that's why I have a second half to count. <laughs> Can you tell we're trying to lose weight? I know, I know, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, the, uh, a nice big amount of ice cream in there. You want a lot. I mean, because you can always, there can always be too much. But when there's too little, it just sucks. You got to start it all over again, you know? You got to, like, reportion everything out. So, there can always be too much, but there never can be too little, so... But, uh, so then we got that, and then the next thing we want to do is the almond milk. And the almond milk takes a quarter cup, but, uh, or I'm sorry, a half cup. But, uh, last time we did it, it needed a little bit more. So I'm going to add, oh, careful not to spill it. So I'm going to add a little bit more, maybe probably about a total of three-quarter cup. And, um... When you start the blender, if you're doing this with a blender, and it's just like not blending right, then that means that you need to add more liquid. I'm sure most of you already know that. But uh, so, and then we're just going to add a couple drops. This stuff comes out really fast. This peppermint extract. I'm just going to add a couple drops, just barely any of this stuff. So, hardly any of that. Maybe about like two or three drops. And then we're going to add our chocolate chips, and this is going to be about a quarter cup. So about a quarter cup, let's see here, yeah, that's about a quarter cup. Alright, so put those back, and then, let's see, what am I missing? The candy canes, right? That's it. Okay, so the candy canes are the fun part. Uh, let's see if you can see this here. Can you see me? Okay. Um, so what, this is what I'm going to do for the candy canes. This is fun. So you get like just a regular baggie here, you know, like a Ziploc bag. And you take, how many did we do last time, Charity? What was it, like 10? Take like 10 of these little candy canes. These are really kind of a pain because you have to unwrap them. You might want to try the, let's see, do I have 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Okay. You might want to try, like, if you can find the, um, uh, you know, like the peppermints that you get in a restaurant, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, those might work a little bit better. There you go, Rocky. It's always great having a dog when you drop something on the floor. So those might work a little bit better, but the, they didn't have those at the store, so I just grabbed a bunch of these. They're such a pain to unwrap. This is the part of the video where I'm going to put it in fast forward, and it's going to be like... In the long run, you can sit here and say, well, you know, it's a lot easier to just take a, you know, 
spoonful of chocolate syrup, some milk, and some ice cream, and just mix it all together. It's a lot easier. And yeah, it is. But the reward is so much better for your patience and your hard work. It's so much better. So, got all these uh, unwrapped, and uh, I'm just going to take it and just kind of break it up a little bit like this. You can break up a little bit. But this is the fun part. Yeah. Take a rolling pin. Ah, a second. Yeah. Got it. All right. Oh. Got peppermint dust all over the counter. All right. So then we just dip those right on in there, just like that. I'm gonna put the top on. It's so hard to put this thing on. Okay. Turn blender on and then just go through the blending process. Alright. So then just let's just pour down in the glasses. Can anybody tell me what they're missing? I think they're missing something. They gotta be missing something. Oh yeah. There we go. That's the stuff. They are hard to get out. Just like that. Just a like of that. We're not perfect. So, all right. And then, of course, we need the straws. Look at that! Look at that! Isn't that good? So we're gonna go give Charity her peppermint milkshake. Hey, Charity. Thank you. There's your peppermint milkshake. Enjoy. You like that? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm pretty good at making them, don't you? Mm -hmm. So there's the uh, peppermint milkshake. It's a lot like the one that's at uh, Chick-fil-A, if you like that um, peppermint chocolate chip milkshake that's at Chick-fil-A. It's a lot like that. So try it, make it, enjoy. It's fun. That was my vlog for today. A recipe.